let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay. It's looking good. I'm seeing green bars so far. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's see if this shit goes good. All right. Why well, am I not seeing myself? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is it not going on? Yo, what the fuck, man? Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if this shit goes through. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, let me let me, let me ask them. Can they see us? Can you see us? Can you see what's popping? Okay, they can see us. All right, cool. So we good, we good, we good. Man, what's going on, people? Well, let me let me see. Let me uh, put the the calling number. Calling number is two eight one. Oh yeah, exactly. Six seven three six two one five. All right, what up? What up, people? What's good? What's good? What are we talking about? Oh, <laughs> women exposing tell themselves them. and telling them themselves and shit. <laughs> what up, people? The call number is 281-673-6215. We are out here in Las Vegas. Out here in Las Vegas, about to uh, meet up with Rosebud. So the video keeps freezing. Oh. Here we go with the bullshit. This is what happens when you go to different different spaces. You don't know how to, the internet's gonna play out. So we gonna we gonna you know we gonna do our best and make it happen. You feel what I'm saying? We gonna figure something out. All right. But anyway, what's good, people? So today we're gonna be talking about how women expose themselves when they talk to you. You feel what I'm saying? And what I mean by exposing themselves, they're gonna tell you shit about themselves that will reveal to you the type of women that you're dealing with. You see what I'm saying? VB, VB Films, he said, damn, I've been on the road. Hell yeah, man. You can hear it, you can hear it in my voice, man. We ain't been getting no sleep, man. You feel what I'm saying? Shit's been crazy. Shit has been crazy. So, damn, let me, why is this shit fucking up right now? Already. There we go. Oh, yeah. Guys, remember the call-in number is, put it on the screen, 281-673-6215. Also, make sure you guys get Men Are Not Equal to Women shirts. Make sure you guys click the link below and get that. I think we we, we uh, ran out of the books. Oh. I don't got the fucking book to show these things. <laughs> yeah. But make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, the book. Ebook, hard copy, all the audio book. You feel me? So, the thing we want you guys to understand is this. Is that when you're dealing with girls, right? You got to listen to what they're saying. You understand? You have to listen when they're talking to you. Especially when, when you're dealing with a girl who talks a lot. Because ah. you're going to have a, some girls you talk, you're, you're, inter, you're interacting with. They're just going to be yapping and yapping and yapping. And the things that they say, they're going to be revealing certain characteristics about themselves. Okay? So, let's say, for example, you're... Just chilling, talking to some random girl or whatever. Oh, damn. People are already fucking calling. Hold on, hold on, guys. You're calling. You got to vibrate. You guys are calling too early. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're, gonna, we're not going to take no calls yet. Give us like a few minutes. because We got we to gotta chop this game up real quick. You feel what I'm saying? But what I was saying is this. Is that you got to listen to what a girl's saying. So let's say, for example, you meet a girl at a bar. And y'all talking. And then she says, like she says, she mentioned something about her ex-boyfriend or something, right? And then she continues to keep talking about her ex-boyfriend throughout the whole conversation. Everything you say, and you could say, yo, I, I like mayonnaise on my sandwich. She might be like, damn, you know, my ex-boyfriend is always with mayonnaise. She's not over her ex-boyfriend. That's what she's telling you, basically. She's exposing that she's not over her ex. You feel what I'm saying? So... That's that's something you're gonna have to. That's something you have to pay attention to when you're dealing with these uh, these chicks. You feel what I'm saying? It's just part of the game. And, and you gotta um. <clears throat> that's why you gotta get over that whole uh, 
that nervousness, that nervousness, mm-hmm. and all that bullshit when it comes to dealing with chicks. That's why y'all gotta practice. Y'all gotta get in there. Y'all gotta get past, get past all that basic shit, right? right? Because a lot of cats, y'all niggas is sitting there instead of listening to the bitch. Y'all trying to think of what to say next. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all not really there in the situation mm-hmm. because you're worried and you're like, oh, I wonder what, what, what should I do? What should I say? I'm, you know. Like you can't be on that. You gotta like. You have to be aware. You have to be in the moment, so you can listen to the nonsense, and then and then figure out how to deal with this bitch. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Figure out the best course of action. Figure out you know, because you this. I mean, it's it's funny because it's like there's there's a bunch of things that that like that the game is gonna show you to do, but it becomes automatic after you become good at it. Right, right, right. So, the, the so it's not all about just the chick talking and telling on herself. It's about you being able to pick the shit apart and then come back with the best course of action for the game to get what you want. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's like you know, it's like dealing with somebody who you know, like you can notice their body language, or you can notice you know if you know if they talk too much, or they're not talking enough, or there's something wrong, or if or if they're always looking around. Or if you're always looking down, mm. like just certain things you have to be able to be aware of in a situation so you can understand how to how to spit the game, how to control the game, mm. and how to use the game to your advantage. Right. So hold on, Sticky Sticky E said the audio is fine, but the video is jumping. So uh can everybody hear the audio fine? Press one if you can hear the audio fine. Just I want I want I want to just make sure. That because if the if the video's jumping, that's not really a big deal. We want to make sure y'all can hear us. That's really what's the, the most important. So if the audio is fine, press one if you guys can hear us. So we can make sure that everybody can hear. So y'all can hear us. Everything you good. K Zagan, shout out to you. What's popping? Dre the Great. So the audio's fine. Perfect. So you know the video might be lagging because the the internet's kind of crazy in here. Yeah, but it'll it'll catch up later on the, on the rebroadcast. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So the audio is good. So we could we could we could we could hit, y'all can hear. Us. So that's that's the most important. Um. But yeah, that's the thing, guys, is that when you're talking to women, because you said, I think, who is, who is it said that um, Nike Zoom Fly said, how do you know she's lying? Um, I mean, basically, if her lips are moving, she's lying. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, no, that's a fact. That's a fact. If you haven't fucked it yet, whatever she's saying is a lie. That's a fact. No, but, but, no, but it, this is the thing, man. All you need to do is... Listen to what she's saying and see also is that is that congruent with her actions? You understand what I'm saying? Is that like is that something that is is she being consistent? Oh, that looks better actually. Right. Is she being consistent with her actions through the words that she's saying? So a lot of times what happens is so for example, if you could tell you a girl will say, Oh, I'm not the type of girl who, you know, messes with guys on the first date. Lies. You understand? But if you're, if you're flirting with her and you notice that she's being very susceptible to the game, right? That's her basically showing that she's lying. You understand? So she's exposing that she's a liar by the fact that she's ending up doing something, you know, with you on that in that situation. You see what I mean? So now, now, now there could be situations where your your game is just so tight. You feel what I'm saying? That she just did that with you. But usually when a chick's like, oh, I'm not that type, blah, 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 she'll expose herself at some point, either by something she says or something she's going to do. But this is why you have to pay very close attention to what women are saying to you and how they're, how they're coming at you. You see what I mean? And so when you, when you listen, it's going to tell you the type of girl she is. So, for example, I was on a date with this girl, and she fucking, we were talking, and she says to me, she was like, "Oh, you know, um, I really like it when when a, when a man takes charge and and you know he's a manly man, right?" So I'm like, "Okay, cool. I, I feel you on that. I feel right, that, right? right, right? I'm right. feeling you." So she's like, "She's like, yeah, you know, I like when a guy uh, is is you know being assertive and aggressive." And he's just like, "I feel like women should just be feminine and, and and submissive to their man." And I'm like, "Okay, I'm feeling you." So now I'm feeling this chick. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, "Yeah, she 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 knows what's up, right?" But then she started to talk some other shit that showed me her real agenda. Meaning, so we, as we're going into the conversation, she was like, 
So, you know, she's like, have you ever heard of this, this spa, what's it called, like spa castle or some shit or whatever it is? Right. So, spa, so she was like, she was like, yeah, I want to go to this spa place and, you know, I want, I want, I want to, I want to look real sexy for you. So I want to go there with you. Um, but there's this, there's this bikini that I want and these high heels that I want. Oh, okay. And, you know, and in order for me to look sexy for you, I need to get those. You know, and if I had a manly man to get those for me, then I can. W- so basically, she's trying to get me to be her sugar daddy slash trick, whatever. To right. you, you understand what I'm saying? Right. So she's letting me know this by her actions. Exactly. You see exactly. what I mean? And if and if all Mr. Lucario was thinking is, oh shit, she's trying to put on a bikini and some heels, right? And she probably gonna look sexy as shit, and then, mm. right? Exactly. <laughs> it's like. He's not being aware. He's not realizing what this bitch is saying to him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because right. chicks know, they know what it is. They know that you're trying to fuck them. They know that you're trying to get them naked. They know all that shit. So they want to use that shit to their advantage. Mm-hmm. You sit in there, all you worrying about is the pussy. Right. And you're not being aware. You're not being in the moment. Mm-hmm. You don't realize what's going on. So the next thing you know, you start charging your credit card right. or your debit card. You know, y'all, y'all same cats who's not on a bad boy membership. Y'all spending more on a bitch that, that's gaming y'all <laughs> than actually learning games. Right, right. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Facts. Because you're not you're not aware of the situation. Mm. Like that's why that's why we tell y'all about the bad boy membership. And that's why it's an ongoing thing. Because you all these things happen in time. It's a process. Mm. You know, you're not gonna listen to this live stream. And then the next time you have a conversation with a bitch, it's just all going to click. It's going to take time for you to realize what's going on, how she's moving, the things she's saying, and what her true motivations are. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, I was just fucking with a bitch the other night. This bitch would not shut the fuck up. (laughs) She would not shut the fuck up. Let me tell you. She was talking a whole lot of shit. And it was pissing me off. Mm-hmm. And I almost lost the bitch. I almost lost her. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't paying attention, I would have lost her. <laughs> right? But your man, your man been in the game for a little while. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was able to make a little comeback. And I still got the got the draws. But <laughs> the point is, is <laughs> because, yo, y'all niggas want to talk about shit tests. Y'all want to talk about a bitch fucking yapping mm-hmm. to... Like, sometimes they want to get on the... They know they want to fuck you. Mm-hmm. But they're like, let me see how cool this nigga is. Let me see how... How uh, how, how, how aware he is. Mm-hmm. Can, he, can he maintain his shit? Can he maintain his game in this situation? My nigga, have you ever pulled out a condom? The bitch is half naked, mind you. She's wearing a fucking G-string and mm-hmm. her bra. Mm-hmm. And you and you take you you like yo here go the condom let's let's get ready to use the condom, and instead of like going over to the bed to let to to bust it down, mm-hmm. this bitch is reading the ingredients on the condom. <laughs> She's reading the fucking like the lubricant ingredients <laughs> and asking me questions about each fucking ingredient. B. Like, she's trying her best to fuck with me. Like, I'm like, bitch, what are you doing? What's going on right now? Are we, try- are we trying to do this or are we not? Right. And she's like, oh, I- I'm thirsty. Let's can-, can I have some water? So we go over to, like, we have one of them fridges that had the water in the door. So I get her the water. I give her the water in her hand. Instead of drinking the water, the bitch puts the water down. Then she opens my fridge. And I'm like, what the fuck you opening my fridge for? Mm-hmm. She happened to see... I had some like some stuff in the fridge and she's like, I'm hungry. I want some of that. And I'm like, no, I just gave you the water. You didn't even drink the water. What are we doing? Mm-hmm. And I got, I, yo, I got frustrated with this bitch. I almost lost it. <laughs> she got mad. She got, she went in the bed and I was just like, I was, I was just like, yo, I wanted to kick this bitch out so fucking bad, but I was aware of the situation that I was in. Mm-hmm. And she was in, she was laying in my bed. Mm-hmm. It's not like she went to go get her shit. And she's waiting by the door like, look, I want to leave. I'm tired. I, I don't want to be here anymore. Right. I, I, I'm done. So I was like, okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. So what did I do? I got in the bed with her, right? Mm. Not with her even. This is what I did. I got in the bed, and she was on, it was a decent-sized bed. I think it was like a queen or something. Mm. She was on the other side of the bed with the covers over her with her back turned to me. So I went in the bed. I was like, man, fuck this bitch. So I got on the, 
Yo, it was like we was already like together. And <laughs> I was shit. already married. Yo, and, shit. and that's what bitches want. Like they want to put you through some shit to to like to make you emotionally invest in. Anyway, so I get in the bed and I'm just thinking. I'm like, fuck. So I turn on the TV and I'm like flipping through the channels and shit. Right. And I'm like, man, how can I get this situation back? Because right. I was frustrated, bro. I wanted to fucking stomp this bitch out. Like, <laughs> yo, that's my word, son. Anyway, and allegedly. But so I said, all right, cool. So I say, yo, come over here. And she's like, no, no, because you you treat me so mean. I say, come over here. Stop playing. Come over here. Right? And then I like I put her like on the like I had the remote in this hand. Right. In in this hand, and then I like like I put my arm around her. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, and right. She, you know, we was in the bed and shit. And then like I'm like, yo. Yo, well, yo, you can't be playing around with me like this. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do what we gotta do, or mm. you gotta communicate better. Right. You know, you can't be, you don't, don't fuck around. Like I'm a man, you can't talk to me that way, mm. and so on and so forth. And then she started to come around, and yeah, well, then anyway, long story short, five minutes later, I was getting my dick sucked. <laughs> so the point I'm trying to make is, cause trust me, I'm nobody's perfect. We're not mm. sitting here telling you that we perfect. Mm. Because I was this close to stomping a bitch out and kicking her out the fucking spot. But my awareness, you mm-hmm. understand? I looked at the situation. I'm like, well, you know, it's not over. Because she's still laying in my bed butt naked. Right, right. You understand? It's not like she put on her clothes or, you understand? She's still laying in my bed butt naked under the covers. Mm-hmm. So I still gotta, I still have the situation under control. I just have to activate what I need to activate to get it done. Mm-hmm. You understand? Got back in the bed. Cuddle with the bitch. Next thing I know, she was sucking the dick. So, mm-hmm. awareness, you know, practice, confidence, understanding what's going on in the situation, so you don't, so you don't like they're gonna, cause they're gonna, they're gonna shit test you. They're gonna talk a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. They're gonna fuck with you. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. But it's up to you to be aware and and continue to be con- in con- in in control of of yourself. Mm-hmm. And then once you're in control of yourself, you can control the game and the situation. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. Because look, these chicks, look, they, they're, they're, you know, what they say and what they do is going to show you the type of girl you're dealing with. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to show it to you. And <laughs> the thing is, is that a lot of guys, they, they hear, but they're not really listening. You understand? You're not really listening. And so you got to be like, like I was on, a, I was on a date with this chick one time and she said, um, she was saying something about like her, like her makeup or some shit because she was like on, cause on, on, I met off of Tinder and on Tinder she had all this makeup on and shit. But then when I was coming to see her, she was like, oh, I'm not as made up as my pictures. So then when, I, but when I saw her, she still had a bunch of makeup on. So her saying that and her doing that is, is, is showing that, you know, she still has some sort of issue with her look. You understand? Like she's maybe a little bit insecure about mm. her looks, which is why she, you know, makes it a big deal about her makeup and how she's presented and all this other goofy shit. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, it, she told, she told you that shit. She said, Oh, I'm not going to be all dolled up. Right. 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 And then, but then she came still with makeup on and shit. Right. Because she wanted to give you a lower expectation, right? Because she thought maybe if he don't like how I look, I already, I already like prepared him for a lower expectation, right? But right. I'm gonna still put a little bit of makeup on so I can impress him a little bit, mm. hopefully, right? Because, like I told y'all niggas, <laughs> bitches know they ain't shit. Listen, listen to me, guys. Nature has already made the female a second class citizen. You have to remember that. Nature, you understand? They have already made females a second class citizen. We are we're the we're the first class citizens. We tell we give them their cues. We give them their catalyst. We impregnate them. They can't impregnate us. You understand? <laughs> we 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 we, t- we bring them to the highest uh, uh, level of existence. You understand? Mm. Because if a bitch lives and dies, she's just a bitch. She she don't become nothing important until we marry her or impregnate her. Always remember that shit. Mm. Damn, Miles is going in today. Shit. Man. Shout out to all the people in the chat room. Um, what up, Lorenzo? What's popping? So the calling number is 281. Hold on, why is this shit not going? Hold on. There we go. 281 673 6215. 
So you guys can, uh, you know, call in. Shout out to KZagon20. KZagon was supposed to chill with us in in Houston, but <laughs> you know the, out, the time man. the time has got got crazy. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? The times got crazy. Look, how do you tell the difference between a shit test and a rejection? Well, the shit test. Okay, shit test is, for example, shit test is. Hold on, somebody's trying to call her. Shit test is a rejection is. Don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. And she walks away. Right. You know, no, no, my bad. That's that's a, that's a rejection. My bad. I'm I'm fucking. I'm right. tired. A rejection is. Don't I don't want to don't talk, talk to you. you. Get away. Right. Leave me alone. That's that's a rejection. Right. A shit test is. You go up to a chick and you be like, you know, hey, what's up, beautiful? And she's like, you say that to all the girls. You understand? Like, right. that's the shit test. You understand? Right. She's like, just sort of like there's still a, there's, you. there's still a there's still a um if you you have to survey the situation and, and and see if there's still a a chance. Right. Right. If if there's if she walks away from you, then then that's a rejection. Right. You understand? If if um if like if there's some type of like obvious block. Between you and a chick, then that's pretty much a rejection. Mm-hmm. If it's more like a, like a thing where it's like where you you come and you say you say what's up to her, be like, and she's like, is that the best you got, mm-hmm. or some shit like that? That's a shit test. That's a shit test, right? You know what I'm saying? Or or, or or if you come up to her and you say, hey, how you doing? And she says some shit like, you know, I don't I don't respond to guys with that type of weak ass line. Mm-hmm. Then that you know you gotta like she's letting you know that yo. She's testing you. Like mm. she's there's something for you to answer to the situation. Mm. Just like with the bitch who's who, who who you know was fucking with me and then she got in the bed and was like, No, I, she she literally told me, I don't mm. want to do this anymore. Right. That's what right, she said. Right. I don't want to do this anymore. And she got in the bed. And I'm like, if you really ain't want to do this anymore, anymore you would have put on your clothes and went to the door. Right, right. You understand right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I would have been happy. <laughs> <He's> still- <laughs> right? But the the, the difference with the shit test is that there's a there's there's still a there's still there's things are still in play. That's mm. what you want to that's what we want to say. Because remember, it's a game, right? It's it's a game. It's the game. Right. As long as things are still in play, as long as things are still in play, then it's not a it's not a rejection. It's a shit test. Mm. But if 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 the play is if the play is done, like there's nothing more for you to salvage from the situation, then that was that was pretty much a rejection. That's, right. That's what we're looking at. Right. So I see a few, somebody's trying to call in. I don't know if you guys are cut off or whatever, but call the number is 281-673. Should I, should I test? 6215. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah, probably call in. And, and, uh, you said you tried to call in and it didn't go through? Really? That's what I'm saying. You want me to test Yeah, try to test it and see if it, because earlier it was going through. I don't know why the fuck it's not going through right now. But, um, but yeah, try to call up, see if it's going to go through. I don't know why it's not going through now. Same number. Yep, two eight one six seven three, six two one five. So let's get that shit cracking. Krenz eight noise. You say you try to call in and it didn't it didn't go through. All right, Miles is gonna try to call in and see if it, if it's gonna go through. Hold on, let me see. Let's see. Let's just test this real quick. Yo, can you? Oh, somebody's calling. Hold on. Call from Rob. It's working now. Hold on. Six. Yo. Yo, yo, what's going on, man? This um, this Rob's right here. What's going on? Where, where you from? Oh, uh, Bronx, New York. All right, that's what's good. That's what's good, bro. So, are, are you are you on a bad boy membership? Nah, nah. Like, I'm trying to get like I'm, I'm in the process of getting my paper straight, but I'm about to get up on it though. That's what's up, though. What's no. good with you though? What's 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 yeah. going? Yeah. Um. No. Nah, no. Nah, I just wanted to ask a question. Um. Today I was um on the train, like you know, waiting for the train to come or whatever. Mm. So I happen to look up. I see this woman. She's looking at me or whatever, you know. And she started like throwing shoes and signals, like you know, fixing her hair. Oh, the thing was, is that she was across the platform. So mm. like, how would y'all have handled that? Like, I just kept it pushing because my train was coming. Mm. But it, it happened so fast. Like, like how how would y'all have handled that? Like, when you had went across the platform or, like... Well, if you said... So you said that it was a chick across the platform and she was, you know, throwing you choosing signals? Yeah, 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 yeah. So tell you should have tell her to come over to, to your side. 
Okay, okay. Because, yo, that's exactly right. why I was thinking because in the moment I was like, yo, it'd probably be make me look mad thirsty if I'm coming over there. Mm. And then, like, it's just like, you know, then my train was coming. It was like, ah, this is a little bit. Yeah, so that's the I, thing. I, Look, I, and, I, and the I, thing I, is this. If you really trying to see if she's feeling you, tell her to come to you. That's the thing. Be like, yo. Be like, yo, come over here and talk to me real quick. Come over and okay, you know, whatever. Okay. But meet me meet me downstairs on the other track or whatever. Whatever it is. You feel what I'm saying? So so, okay, see, so test gotcha. her to see if she's feeling you. You see what I'm saying? Because she could just <laughs> be looking gotcha, at bye, you bye. or, you know, fixing her hair a little bit, but not really about it or whatever. But if you're giving her instruction... On coming through to come see you, come over to your side. Then if she does it, then that's what it is. You see what I'm saying? Gosh, it makes sense, yo. All right. All right, man. Get All on right, that bad it. boy membership. <laughs> All right. All right, man. All right, V. I'm a holler. Please. Right. Yeah, man. So that's what it is, guys. Don't, you know, don't be a, you know, let let the chicks do some shit. You know? <laughs> Let the chicks do some shit. Y'all told y'all telling him to jump the tracks. Y'all dudes is hilarious. <laughs> exactly. Don't miss your train. Be about your fucking business. Fuck that. Mm. <laughs> fuck you do. I don't care about no. I don't care about the, uh, uh, choosing signals anyway. Right. But right. I'm saying you you want some impossible shit, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gonna wait till my train coming to give me choosing signals too? Rick Lee said, "Why are all your videos surface level? You regurgitate the same obvious BS every show." Rick, I'm about to I'm about to uh, ban you for trolling. Nah. So, hold on. All right, let me see who this is. Call from Create Noise from New Jersey. Tip. All right, what up? What up? What's going on, Jersey? Yo, what's going on, guys? What's popping? Yeah, uh, yo, uh, it's Create Noise, man. Uh, I got a question about. Are you uh, on that bad boy membership? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, yeah, I'm trying to get back on it. I was before, but I'm trying to get back on it. Please get back on it, sir. <laughs> what, what's your question? <laughs> My question is like, uh, how do you guys how do you guys distinguish whether like a chick is like worth dealing with, and and between that and when she's actually shit testing you? You said you, know? I, you said how do you distinguish if she's if she's worth dealing with? Yeah, like if her shit test, if her like if her shit, if she's like on some bullshit as opposed to just giving you some like a shit test. Because I, I tend to lose like if you, if a girl gives me shit, I tend to lose interest pretty quickly. Oh, like, so you're I, saying I, like I, I, so you're saying okay, I think I know what you're saying. So you're saying like is is like let's say is she worth continuing to even talk to or try to engage in versus you know is, is she actually giving yeah. a shit test or is she just being a, an asshole? Like is she just like you know. Like on some bullshit. Yeah, that what you saying? Yeah, basically. Right. Yeah, like let's say like I meet up with some people at, at a spot, right? And mm. then uh, you know, she uh, this this girl comes by and she's like, hey, you know, hey, and she says my name, but she doesn't even look at me. In fact, she's looking the opposite way and she's walking by. It's like bye. Like that's some that that to me is like being an asshole. Mm. Or 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 you know, I I, I have trouble just distinguishing whether like. Uh, uh, if it's like a shit test or if they're just being just flat out rude. So usually I just default to just, you know, next. Right. Uh, well, that's, the this, and, and that's, a good, that's a good question. The thing is this. Me, me personally, I, I like when it's um, a million percent cooperation. The only time when I even deal with a, a, a shit test from a chick, if it's even, a, if, if it, you know, if it's like, I should say the only type of shit test I deal with is when the chick is already in in my sort of like frame. So like for example, what Miles is saying where he was with the chick already, she's already in his crib, she's already in his room. You see what I'm saying? Like she's already there fucking with me. She's already dealing with me, period. So if she's doing some goofy at that point, I'll I could deal with it at that point. You feel what I'm saying? Now if it's a girl I just met at a bar and I only been talking to this girl for three minutes and she starts acting, you know, on some super crazy goofy shit where to to the extent where, you know, it's it's going into extremely rude territory or or extremely yeah. uncooperative territory. I don't fuck with it. You see what I'm saying? And also it's a feeling, it's a it's a sort of feeling you get because you you'll know the difference between 
Um, you know, if a girl is like sort of shit testing you and a girl is just being an asshole and being a fucking dick. So it's, it's kind of like if you, let's say for example, um, you know, like it's just, con it's like context and tone because, you know, I could say to Miles, you know, like, I'd be like, yo, Miles, you a stupid motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? But if somebody, if somebody else may say the same exact thing to him, but it's a different tone in a different context, you see what I'm saying? And so it'll be offensive yeah. If they said it to him, you feel what I'm saying? Right, Versus right. if I'm just saying it to him, just playing around yeah. and doing some stupid shit. You feel what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. It's 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 filling out the context, but also, uh, you know, seeing if the girl is already in your frame and if she's already in that, and then she's sort of trying to be a little bit like you know, uh, funny with it. Then it's like you know, you can you can take that on. You see what I mean? Yo, another question for you, yeah. like, um, you you, how many relationships you've been in? Like actual committed ones? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just two. Huh? Just two. Just two? Just two. And how old are you? 27. 27. Okay. And when, what was the uh, what was the length of the, the longest relationship? Longest relationship? Eesh. Good question. Uh, I you said it was, it was like, only two. You said it was only two. So what was the length of the longest one? Longest one was like slightly under a year, like nine months. Okay, listen. The thing is, okay, it's there are a couple of things that I want to say, right? So the thing is, one thing is um, you have to, like, uh, increase your ex experience level in general, right? Because once you, uh, once you experience a certain amount of um, in female interaction, you'll, you'll get to know which is which automatically, mm -hmm. just based on your experience, right? Yeah. And then after that, after, after you... You sharpen up your game and realize what it is you want from females. Then you can choose, um, like, because shit tests come in all types of forms. Mm -hmm. And some shit sets are, are disrespectful, and some are just a challenge mm -hmm. to see where your game is at. Right, you understand what right, I'm saying? Right. Now, it's up yeah. to you, because you got some niggas out there who... They carry themselves a certain way, and because they carry themselves a certain way, a chick feels like they can shit t shit test them and disrespect them at the same time. Mm. When you have a oh, when yeah, you have absolutely. a solid control over your game and what you want from females, yeah. you can decide the extent to which you will allow a bitch to fuck with you, whether it's a mm. shit test or disrespect. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Because here oh, it is. No, that that that's the point. That's the point I was trying to get to. Yeah. Right. Because like for some girls, they they they'll, they'll have a flirty energy. But I don't like the way they flirt. Right. If mm. that makes any sense. Right. 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 Well, and and, and, like, and and that's what I'm saying. It it's up to you. It's up to you what you want. Mm. It's up to you. If you know you want more of a submissive, docile, feminine type of female, then you can th you, yo yeah. you can continue. Remember, mm. charging a bitch to the game is always your first and best option. Right. Trust pretty much. Me. Pretty much. Don't ever feel like you need to put yourself yeah. in no type of situation mm. to. To uh to 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 deal with a woman's disrespect through shit t shit testing. Mm. Now the thing is, the reason why I said you have to increase your um experience and sharpen your game is that you at, at a certain point you'll get to to realize which challenges you want to uh, uh accept. Mm -hmm. You know when they say challenge accepted, like when yeah. somebody says to you, "I yeah. challenge you to a game of basketball," oh, wow. and you're like, "All right, yeah. nigga, let's play." You understand? Because you you know you're good at basketball, so you you it's up to you to say, all right, I'll play you in the game of basketball because I feel like I can win. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So it's up to you. Okay. It's up to you to choose. Right, that's fair. It's up to you to choose which challenges you want to accept based on the level of your game. Now, again, you can at any given time you can charge a bitch, charge a bitch. You understand? Because none of them are as important yeah. as your respect. Period. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that seems to be. I've gone to a point where that's like non-negotiable. Mm. That's it. That's that's where I've gone to a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, like recognizing it, I I, I I see what you're saying. Like like um, more experience. Like I've gone to the point where I've been, I'm able to observe certain things. The only thing I'm working on now is my response. Like how do I respond to it? Right. That's, I guess I'm trying to be more like my maneuvers. Like how do I move gracefully through it? But yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that that's all. Um, that, that's all, uh, th that's basically what I was getting at, like, okay, so, so, basically, I can set the tone, is what you're saying. Right, exactly, that's it, you set the tone. You set the tone, at always, all times, always. all the time. You control yourself, you control, control the game, you understand? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. All, All right. right, that's fair. All right, All right. Bro. even if she's still giving me like flirty energy. Yeah, well, well the like, thing the thing is it if she's can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, if a girl is giving you flirty energy, that's the thing. If she's giving you flirty energy, then and this is see, again, there's levels to the shit test. You see what I mean? And so if she's giving you that flirty energy, a chick can shit test you and be extremely flirty, extremely feminine. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the only okay. for me personally, that's the only type of shit test I, I, I even um uh, allow. You right. feel what I'm saying? If it's beyond that, I don't yeah. I don't fuck with it. You see what I mean? Right. But that's me. You know what I'm saying? Some other guys may want to, yeah. you know, do extra shit, but that's not, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with that. Because also too, I did a video a long time ago where I was talking about how if a woman shit tests you, um, that's a direct correlation to how masculine she sees you. You understand what I'm saying? That's so, what I was, yeah, it's, it's, that's, that, yeah. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I remember that. Right. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so a lot of guys don't understand that fact is that if a woman sees you as the type of dude who's the ultimate mm -hmm. type of guy she won't shit test you. You see what I'm saying? Because what happens is, and, and, and the only exception to that is if she's just that type of chick where she has that type of energy automatically, like that's just her, that's just part of her personality where she's just like, like you know, like a bitch or she's just all over the place. But generally, if yeah. a woman is seeing you and she's like, oh, this guy is like the top dude. This is probably the best guy I've ever talked to she's usually not going to shit test you because she already sees that you're that dude. Because remember, part of the shit test is to see if you are who you say you really are. You see what I'm saying? Or to see if you're going to do what you what you say you're going to do or you're going to be how you, you display yourself as being. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, what that it is, bro. <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah. Damn, guys, yo, that's... <laughs> that's, that's... Wow. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. That, you don't that, have that bad boy membership. Really Stop fucking around. <laughs> all right, bro. Appreciate the call, my dude. All right, all right man. I'm holla. Peace. All right, guys. Thanks, man. Man. Well, let me let me address Rick Lou because Rick Lou is being goofy. Rick Lou, you're saying that you notice every live stream I don't necessarily ever go deep, bro. We go deep all the time. But if you want to get deeper. Badboymembership.com, bro. Oh, fuck. This is what, like, I don't. This is why I'm looking. This is why I said you're trolling. Because if you, if you're saying, yo, go, why aren't you going deeper? We've been telling you the deeper shit is on the bad boy membership. The game is to be sold, not told. And, <laughs> and, and there's also deep shit on the uh, the bad boy show. Exactly. Like we go, we go way in exactly. on the bad boy That's show. That's what we trying to tell you. You see what I mean? No, 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 no fucking get in the chat room <laughs> trying to tell us how to how to run the game. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's get this next caller. Hold on, hold on. Come on, stop fucking with me now. From Show the movies from Long Island. To what accept, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. The fuck is going on okay. with this shit? Hold on. I've sent the caller. Hold on, I just You just got rid of him. Oh my bad. Call back, call back, because this shit is acting goofy. Call back, man. My bad. Call back, bro. Call back, bro. That's my bad. Phone number. Give me the phone number again. All right, let me give you guys the phone number. You know, there's a bunch of them probably trying to call at the same, same time. Same time, yeah. It's cutting up. Yeah, because we, you know, we, we still knew at this Google Voice shit, so we still trying to work. We're still trying to figure this out. So, you know, pardon us for a second. You feel what I'm saying? We try to call in again. See if it's uh, if it's um, you know. Doing what it's supposed to do. Because this shit is acting crazy. So, what, nothing's coming up now? Please leave your message for what the fuck? Did I, did I get the number? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, I did not get the number. Oh, you didn't put the number right? <laughs> so, guys, try to call up. Um, Call up again. The call in number is. That's one five. Yeah, two eight one six seven three two six two one five. Hello, please state your name after the tone. Blah blah. Okay, let's see. Okay, somebody else. All right. Call from Martin seven nine nine three four. All right. Yo, what's poppin'? You hear us? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's poppin'? What's going on, bro? 
What's up, guys? What's, what's, up, what's the deal? What's going on? Oh, uh, not so much, bro. Um, I had a couple questions. Um, you on that bad boy um, membership? <laughs> no, nah, but I'm on the other one. All right, all right. The other one, what, man? What are you talking about? Talk the bad boy show. Yeah, yeah, the bad boy show and the confidence show. Okay, right. okay. Good okay. looking, good looking. So, what's going on with you? Oh man, um, I was trying to figure out how or how do I like figure out how to um, consistently find more chicks that's wanting to be on my type of level, like who don't want anything serious. They just wanna, they just want something for now, now and again. Like it just hit me up. We can get together. And then I'll just see her whenever, you know. So you saying you want to figure out how to? You gotta speak up, bro, because you sound like you you sound like you in a bed, chilling with the covers over you. What they said in the chat room. That's okay, Zach. It's, it's like <laughs> under the covers. But um, oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, um, yeah, exactly. Talk like that. So you say so you basically saying that you just wanted to on some casual <laughs> shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't want anything committed, and like I don't want to have to deal with like in the event that I meet a chick and I tell her I'm not looking for something serious and she goes along with it but then later on she's kind of like it's cold feet and it's like I want something more serious nah that's the thing you ain't gotta tell a girl shit all you gotta do is when you get with the with those chicks you just create a situation where y'all hook up <clears throat> where y'all where y'all keep it casual because it's the thing nobody is expect see this is this is this is why uh, uh, a lot of people fuck up in the game, especially guys. A lot of guys come at the game thinking that they need to interact with a woman on some boyfriend, girlfriend, we're building something together type of energy. No, that's, that's what a lot of females or some females would think. You understand? <clears throat> but all you need to do, again, because you're orchestrating a situation, you're the one approaching a girl, you're the one setting up dates, you're the one you know, setting up the type of situations for you to get in, involved in. So all you got to do is when you meet a girl... You ain't got to tell her any of that shit. You just say, let's say, for example, you meet a girl at a bar, you meet a girl off Tinder, whatever it is. You say, yo, um, let's hang out Friday. Y'all hang out Friday. Y'all go get a drink. Y'all chill. Y'all have fun. You might take her back to the crib and smash, right? Then you just don't call that chick for another week. She might call you. You might be like, oh, hey, what's up? You talked to her for maybe a minute or two. Be like, when you free again? You see her again next week, you smash again, right? What's going to happen is at some point, the girl is going to bring it up. She's going to say, hey, uh, you know, we've been seeing each other for like three months. You know, uh, where is this going? What does this mean? And he'd be like, what do you mean? What you talking about? We, we chilling. It ain't going nowhere. This is what we doing. We doing this right now. What you, what you trying to do? You feel what I'm saying? She's like, but you know, I feel like we, 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 should, you know, we should be together or whatever. Now, if you don't want to be together with her like that, you still keep it on that casual shit. Just be like, listen. Right now, this is what I want to do. I'm digging you, you digging me. Let's just keep it how it is. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, who knows what can happen in, in the future? You understand? You can give these chicks hope if you want. Be like, look, who knows? Maybe later on down the line, things could be different. But right now, this is where I'm at. So, you know, this is what I want to do. Now, if you want to continue doing that, cool. If you, if you don't, you're always free to leave. That's it. That's it. Man. That's what you got to do. Man, I... I just, I just felt like I get, you know, kind of shamed into the whole thing. Of like, don't you want something in the future? Or wait, wait, so, so is that, is that, wait, do, that's what the chicks ask you? They say, don't you want something in the future? Yeah, like, like, you know, like in the next five years, what do you see yourself with this person, kids and stuff? Mm -hmm. You know. And, and what do you, and what do you, so what do you truly what, feel? What do you feel? I'm like. I have to really, 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 really like the chick before I even have that conversation. And right, and then you tell right her. That's I what you tell her. Out. That's exactly how you respond to that. So you hook up with the girl. She's yeah. like, hey, but, you know, like, what do you want it later on? Don't you want a future? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, if I meet the right girl, you know what I'm saying? I'll definitely do that. You know what I mean? And just keep it like that. Keep it like that. If you really want to go in, you could be like, listen, you know, if I meet the right girl, you know, that could be you. I don't know. It could be. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're the right girl, maybe, who knows? Maybe it could happen that way. You understand? 
and and yeah. and you're not bullshitting because yeah. you don't you don't you who knows she could be right. But the thing is, is that you're telling her where you're at now, and not and don't be shamed into or don't let women try to shame you into like trying to have some sort of relationship with them. You understand the way they want it. You feel what I mean? You figure out how you want yeah. your relationships and find the women who's going to fit into that. And if they're not trying to fit into it, you charge them to the game. That's it. You feel me? All right, one more question. One more question. Um, like, just as far as, like, when you when you were, like, out there meeting women and everything, like, how did you just make, basically, time management? How did you, you know, remain on your purpose mm-hmm. and still make time to, you know, meet meet these females out and about or whenever or however? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, well, real quick. So, yeah, guys, remember, the, 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 the stream is going to be choppy because we're in a different... The internet's not good as long as y'all can hear us, okay? Just keep letting us know y'all can hear us. That's all you need. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but you're saying that mm-hmm. you're, you're saying that. How do you stay on your purpose when you when you're trying to deal with yeah, these girls? Yeah, like how do you? Yeah, because you know that's another thing that that tends to come up when I'm talking to these females. They're like, how do you see yourself? You know, like are you in between jobs or like 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 what are you doing to like? provide for yourself and in the event that we do get together hold on wait 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 let me stop let me stop you for a second let me stop you for a second i'm gonna tell you your your your, your problem right now that's gonna solve everything because this goes to what we were just talked about before stop letting these women okay dictate and control the direction of the conversations and the situations you're in this is this is the, this is the issue you're having because you're saying well they're asking you well, what what are you gonna do for a job, and what are you gonna do for this? If we look, right. you don't you you're not you're not allowed to even worry about that shit with me, girl. You feel what I'm saying? You uh, <laughs> and these chicks asking you all this shit. Have you fucked them yet? Uh, maybe one of them. <laughs> one of them. She's the only one that's closest to having those kind of, kind of <laughs> conversations. And even then, right? Even then, just like. Maybe if you keep fucking me the way you do, maybe, maybe. we could talk about, about that. Exactly. You, you, you know. Right. And, and so, and so the <laughs> you way. Know, you know what you tell her? Be like, bitch, I don't see no rings on these things. <laughs> you don't own me. <laughs> exactly. Get them back with their own bullshit. But this is what, this is what you, you know, to answer your question about staying on your purpose is that, and this is what, what we talked about right. from the before, is that figure out exactly what you're doing, what you need to do. And then everything has to be orchestrated around that. Right. So like you said, you said, hey, I just want some casual shit with these girls, right? So while you're, while you're interacting yeah. with these girls, you say to yourself, okay, look, I got like five things I need to do. That's, that's about my purpose, right? So that means I only got three days, maybe two days a week where I can fuck with these chicks, right? I got three chicks who is trying to fuck with me, right? I could see them. I could see each of them. Uh, I can see two this week, and then maybe next week I see the other girl. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you just you just create it around your own shit. So you create it around your purpose. So your purpose comes first. The women and the the interactions you have go around that. You see what I'm saying? That's all it is. So when you talk about time management, it's like okay, uh, from this time to this time, I'm working on my shit. You feel what I'm saying? After all that shit is done, then I'll I'll go meet meet up with this girl. That's it. Now, if you can't meet up with that girl because you got more shit to do or whatever, be like, listen, girl, I can't see you this week, but I can see you next week, this day. That's it. You understand? Remember, also you got to remember this. Right. Your your time, right, and attention that you give a woman is a gift. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Remember that. So don't ever feel like, you know, you need to do more of this or do more. She should be lucky She's even getting to spend two hours with you in the week. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? And if, and if you want to get more advanced, tell her that the only way she could see you is if she come and help you with the things that you got to do. Exactly. That's more advanced game. You got to mm. be on a bad boy membership for that type of thing. <laughs> I'm going to get her to help me do my laundry or something. Exactly. Facts. Exactly. Like, bitch, if you want to spend time, I got to get all this shit out the way. Mm-hmm. My house needs cleaning. <laughs> That's, That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all you do. You feel me? Uh, All right, bro. I appreciate it, guys. All right, man. All right. All right, Thanks. Man. Peace. Yep. Today is Friday, people. 
Man. Shit is crazy. Why what happened? I'm just Oh like the week just went by. Yo. This is crazy. Yeah, y'all wow. don't understand. We 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 been getting like two hours of sleep every day for the past week. That's why this nigga yawning like this. <laughs> so we just we just letting y'all know. Niggas is out here working. Alright, let me get this real quick. Alright. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Here we go. <laughs> What's poppin'? What's going on, Nez? Yeah, Nez London. What's going on? Yeah, I'm good, man. How you been? Okay. I'm good, I'm good. So what's going on with you? Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, what's up, man? You good? I'm what's good. What's up, man? Chillin', chillin'. I wonder what's up with you, though. Good to hear from you. What, what's going on? Yeah, not too much. Uh, it's, it's a bit weird, this, like, new number. You have to say your name and then it connects you or something like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, I got a question. Uh, basically, how do I, how would I go about manufacturing or engineering like a situation with my boss's wife? Because, um, like I managed to get her number a couple of weeks ago because, um, we, I had to go somewhere for work and then she drove me there and she gave me her number and she was like, um, you know, if you need anything, if you need any help, then just let me know. And a few days ago, I was texting back and forth with her and stuff. And she um, she was sending me, like, these emojis and stuff, like these hug emojis and stuff like that. And every time I see her in the office, she's always, like, uh, super friendly and, like, smiles at me and, like, makes me coffee and tea and, like, brings it to my desk and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, like, is there a chance, like, are these, like, IOIs or is there a chance for me to get with her? Or if I do try and get with her, how would I... Um, go about like managing the situation without being caught so i'm not i'm not really scared of my boss because he's like a he's like a short midget and stuff like that so but i am kind of scared of the, the kind of ramifications and and like the fallout they might cause if i get caught by him listen so, bro like, listen 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 i I don't know if you want to give him anything i refrain from giving you any advice on this situation bro <laughs> no Right. No, look, bro. Don't do it. That's all I'm saying. Don't right. do it. That's it. Why? 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 For, okay. First of all, all the stuff you say, you just explain. First of all, that didn't really necessarily mean or show that she has any interest in you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 this brings up a good point that guys gotta understand. Don't misinterpret a woman just, you know, acknowledging you for interest. You have to understand there's a difference. And also, this is your your boss's wife? Yeah. And do, do you like your job? <laughs> uh, kind of. <laughs> and so, I'm just, that's what I'm saying, like, so is 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 dealing with her worth getting getting fucking fired? Well, I'm I'm planning on leaving soon, so. Oh my goodness, bro! Look, there's so many other chicks in the world, man. Don't worry about. See, this is right. what happens sometimes. Like when 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 guys have a scarcity mindset, they latch on to whatever it's like oh well this girl seems like she's giving me some signals and all this other stuff there's other women out there you feel what i'm saying because it's not just about yeah, I know you there's go ahead what are you saying yeah i know there's others but like based off her actions and based off her behavior it seemed like you know it was uh she was like kind of opening a door or something but maybe i, I don't know no this, I, is, the I, thing. this it, is the thing this is the thing this is the thing this is the thing, this is the thing. You said that you said that she fucking uh what drove you somewhere or something? Yeah. Where did she drive you? Uh, I was like I had to go somewhere for well for uh, to a meeting and then she she uh, drove me there and then while I was in her car she gave me her phone number and stuff like that. And, uh, and what did she say she when she gave me the phone number? Yeah, you, she's like, yeah, if you need anything, just text me. And, could, and, and 
my question is, could she just be telling you that on a business sense, like, oh, well, you were going to this meeting, come to, in my car, I'll drive, I'll drive us there, and hey, if you need any anything, any help, just call me. Yeah, it could be, but yeah. That's uh, what I'm saying. She was offering me like food and stuff, stuff as well. She was offering you what? Like in her car and stuff. She's she was offering, offering you me, what? Like some some snacks and like drinks and stuff. Bruh, I was just in a in a Uber earlier with this lady who who was driving, and she offered me a mild snacks. Does that, does that mean she want to fuck us? She had snacks yeah, in know, her car. But... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're 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 blowing this shit out of proportion, bro. And you got and that's what I'm saying. You got to understand the difference between a girl actually flirting with you, a girl actually (laughs) trying to fuck with you, and and be with you, and 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 somehow try to get at you, versus a woman just regularly saying certain shit to you. This reminds me of uh, uh, he didn't succeed. Called in one time. And he said he was at McDonald's and he ordered an apple pie and the girl said, hey, the pies are hot. And he wanted to know, was that oh, her yeah, giving a choosing that. signal? <laughs> you see yeah, what I'm saying? That. <laughs> That's no, what I'm she, saying. She only does it to me, though. She doesn't do it to anyone else. Like, there's other guys in the office as well. She doesn't really pay them any attention or pay them any mind, you see. And, and Nez, this is what you got to understand, too. Women, and this is this is this is the, 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 the ridiculous part. Women love to be ambiguous because it always gives them an out. So let's say let's just say for, hypothetically she is flirting with you. Let's say hypothetically she's flirting with you. Let's say hypothetically she does actually sort of like the attention that you know she's giving you and you're giving her whatever it is, right? If you try to make a move and she gets caught or you know, something comes up where she could get in trouble, you know, by her husband or whoever else. She's going to act like, what is Ness talking about? I was just, you know, offering my, my number if he had any, uh, you know, trouble in the meeting. And I drove him to the meeting because he was going to be late. That's why I don't understand why. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's what you got to understand. So don't, don't look at this situation as... Uh, something that you need to actually pursue. You understand what I'm saying? And even if she was like chasing you and trying to really get at you, bro, that's that's your your, your boss's wife, bro. Just just keep the shit pushing, man. You got you got it. There's so many other women out there, bro. This must be bad, huh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. Yeah, right. right, she's yeah, she's doing everything, but yeah, I guess um. Uh, bad, don't go down that route then. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, fuck with other chicks, bro. Yo, bring bring bitches into the office and 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 make her jealous. Or something. <laughs> okay. All right, so All right, yo, cool, cool. yeah, just find other chicks, man. Don't worry yeah, about find that. other girls, bro. Yeah, that ain't that ain't that ain't the one right there. Nah. That ain't it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right, man. Amala. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Take care. All right. Peace. Catch you later, bro. Cause you also gotta think about, cause you know sometimes. In certain industries, once once one boss don't like you, yeah, the rest of them they can shut fuck shit down. Right, right, and right. And you'll never get to work in that industry again. Right. Next thing you know, this nigga Nez is fucking busting tables and shit. <laughs> fucked up. So yeah, you guys gotta, you know, be careful with that shit. All right, hold on. All from your boy Mark. All right. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Ma. What's going on? What up, bro? Yeah, not much, man. I'm man, work this way. Get off. Try to enjoy this weekend. Happy Friday to y'all, fellas. All right. Yo, what's good? What's good? Thanks a lot, man. You on that bad boy membership, though? Nah, I ain't even on the bad boy membership. I called y'all uh, Wednesday, actually. You asked me that. I was a guy that was like, I wasn't knowing it. He was like, oh, you said that real nonchalantly and shit. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, um... We, we, we yeah, need to make some changes, wanna, though. Wanna... <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> I just got a little, uh, I just want to input something, man. Strange thing happened to me yesterday. I just want y'all input on this. So, I was coming from work. I was mm-hmm. on the bus. 
And uh, I seen I seen this shorty right, like she hopped out the car, like somebody dropped off at the bus station. Right. And like in the face, in the face, she wasn't that pretty in the face. But like just looking at her face, I wouldn't be attracted. But she had some cakes on her, you know what I mean? I'm like, well, she kind of fat. So I'm just thinking, yeah, I do this and that, so, you know what I mean? So I was just cooling because she had the headphones on, and I had my headphones on. Right, like, I kept I kept looking at it like a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I ain't make no moves. So then I got on the bus. Shorty gets on the bus, right? She gets off the same stop I get off. So it's basically like the opportunity still there, whatever. And then it's another little light skin girl and shit. And she was on the bus stop. She had headphones in too. And I'm looking at her like the same way, you know what I mean? From the bus. Now me, like, I don't know. I think I think I'm more comfortable going at, going at women. It's weird, but I'm more comfortable going that shit at work, man. Like, that's the best place for me to do it, is at work, so. And I realized that, right? Because at work, I could do it so easy, you know what I mean? I do everything, like, I just do it easy. That shit flows. So so you, wait, hold on, you said, you that's said, you, happened, you right? said it's I'm easier for you to get job. girls, what, how? No, at, at, at work, like, I'm more comfortable at work for some reason. Man. You know what I mean? Man. But, <laughs> But check this out though. Check, check this out. Check this out. So, so like, I'm one chick I just seen. The next chick I just got dropped off. You know what I'm saying? Bust up. So it was like two chicks that was pretty much like, yo, I should have won that other shit. I got home like, and I was just like, I had I had this weird feeling in me. You know what I mean? Like, I had to punch the wall or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was just I wasn't in the, I wasn't in a good mood and like oh. All that shit pretty much related back to that, yo. Like, because in my head, I'm like, yo, I already know what I'm capable of. Why the fuck did not just do it, yo? Like, I was kind of like, it was like a bang in your head type of thing. It was like, yo, why did not just do that just now? Because okay, so what's happening with you is this: is that you're you're feeling okay. This is what, and this is this is what happens with a lot of guys: is that you're 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 feeling like you're not living up to your potential. That's all that is, because you 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 acting real scary right now. <laughs> That's all it is. And you and you're and you're in your comfort zone. So you say, well, I don't got no problem talking to girls at work because, and this is what a lot of guys do. They're at work, just like Ness just called up. He's like, I'm at work trying to holler at the fucking boss's wife. Is that you spend so much time at work and you're used to the girls at work that is is you're you're in that comfort zone. But when it's a girl you don't know. And she's out, and, and it seemed like you was trying to look for choosing signals with these chicks before you even go and, and do anything. You see what uh-huh. I'm saying? And so when you got home, you kicking yourself in the ass because you're like, shit, I could have hollered at those girls, but I was being too pussy, and and now and now you're upset about it. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah. But this is yeah. why you got to get your ass on the fucking bad boy membership. This is what we be trying to tell you. Cause this, this, cause this, this type of stuff is like, like two plus two is four. This is basic math. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, there's <laughs> something on. A, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you something off the bad boy yeah, membership that can help you, right? I forgot. Did we make a name for it? Help Remember when you, 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 you put the, you put the game on the, on the phone and then you show it to the bitch. Oh yeah, I think I did put that on there. It is on the bad. I know it's on there. I forgot. But did we call it something? No, I forgot which one it's on. It's probably on the phone and text game. Probably. Yeah, we we got this this little uh, strategy on the phone and text game uh, module on a bad boy membership where if a chick is acting, is she on the headphones and she acting like she's not paying attention, you go to like the the um, the the notepad section of your phone and you type in what you want to tell her, and then you go you go up to her and you show it to her on your phone. Right, you just pass her your phone. Just pass her your phone, right. and she gonna take it, and she gonna yo, read it. Yo, look, look. I was like, I was mad, right? Because like I, like I was saying, I, I know what I'm capable of. Like, I could have easily just went over, went over there, you know what I mean, and just you know did a little sign like take your headphone up with my hand, and then got the rapping to it that easy. Mm-hmm. But something, 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 I mean, was just like it. it Allow me to actually go forward with that shit, right? Another thing is this, Macario. I'm gonna ask you this, man. I want you to ask this for me. When it comes to confidence, right? Mm. 
because the thing with confidence that I'm realizing is you can you can work on it, and the confidence is being able to be, you know, confident all the time. But it's like sometimes your shit could be shaking, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like it's, it's it's actually from the inside, like it can be shaking. Like like say we are, we are, we are buildings, we're supposed to be buildings and everything, right? But like if a motherfucking earthquake come, that shit shake the building up a little bit. You know what I mean? You might have, you might look, everything might be still together, but then you look down in the basement and you got a cracked floor. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Well, the thing is, the difference between what that is, about, is right. that, the difference between that is, is that you're talking about something physically happening versus something internally happening. You see what I'm saying? Confidence is internal. You see what I'm saying? So if your confidence is uh-huh. shaken, right, that's something that you're doing uh-huh. on your own. Nobody, nobody shakes your confidence. Period. I don't care what's happening out. Nobody, sh- your your confidence is always shaken, and and you always feel a certain type of way because that's how you feel about it. It's not about anybody else or anything outside of you. And that's the that's the the, the, the issue. This is why guys uh, aren't confident and don't understand confidence too. In the in you know overall, and, and I've been talking about this for years. Is that they don't understand what it means to actually be confident. Because if you if you're actually confident, nothing can shake your confidence, ever, period. Mm. It's it's uh, mm. this because because okay. it's like this. It's like this. If I if I if I call you if I call like let's say I call somebody an asshole and I say yo you're fucking ugly you're an asshole you stink nobody mm. likes you right that person may say oh Miss <laughs> Locario said this so that's why I'm not confident he he shook my confidence right and then somebody else can yeah. say. The same exact thing I said, but in a different language, right? To that same person. So the, this other person saying the same exact shit, but in Spanish. That all that motherfucker is gonna do is he gonna be he's gonna look at that person and say, "Yo, I don't know what he's talking about," right? <clears throat> so he's saying the same exact thing I said what? to him. So why isn't he feeling? Why isn't he feeling the same way? Because it's about him. We said the same exact yeah. thing, but. He received it a certain way, which made him feel a certain way. You see what I'm saying? So you're responsible for how you yeah. feel. So that's what I'm saying. So your shaken confidence right. is always on you. All right, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to, uh, you know, what I mean, just just get that get that down. For real. I appreciate that. But I got one more thing to inquire, man. I'm gonna let bruh, you go. bruh, 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 bruh. Bro, we can't we can't let you go again because you got you got to get that yeah. soon as you, soon as you get that All bad right. boy membership. <laughs> You can ask me anything you want because on a bad boy membership yeah, you get to send me emails for free all day. You see what I'm saying? Oh, all, right, all, right. all right, so so make sure you jump on yeah, that, no all right? Because we gotta get a few right, more calls. Bro, all right, bro. Man, y'all be y'all be going too hard with this shit, man. You gotta understand the game ain't free, bro. Even when you're watching these live stream, you're you're paying attention. Keyword paying. You see what I'm saying? So. RZ, so, RZ, who? Exactly. Right? So, it ain't free. Ain't nothing free. Man. It said, Lokar, if you're ugly and you played, have played, have what? And girls have played you most of your life. Most dudes will not be confident enough to cold approach women. That's on them. That's their fault. This is why we try to teach you guys. If you're ugly. This is why I got to teach you guys. Ugly don't got nothing to do with it, though. Exactly. But of course, you know, that's, that's what they're going to... That's what they was gonna come at. Played you for most of your life. Crazy man. Oh, let me get this call real quick. All right. Call from Joe Blast. All right. Yo, what up, bro? What's going on? What's happening, y'all? Chilling, chilling. What's good, bro? Chilling, man. Ain't nothing. I. A little nervous cough. I, I never tried to call you guys before, but I'm sure you see my name, Joe Blast, on your uh, yes, screen. Yes, sir. Are you are you on the Bad Boy membership, Joe Blast? No, I'm not, but I am on the Patreon. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. So let's go with you. Uh, first off, I want to say that you and Miles, you guys are saving lives because <laughs> there's a lot of stupidness going on in these men's minds right now. Word. And you guys are there to help us, you know, try to clear it up. And okay. I just have a couple of questions. Mm. Um, I would like to hear what your tips would be for staying consistent in your stance as a man with women.
women and I guess life in general? Mm. That's the first question. Right. Well, well, the thing is, being staying consistent is just understanding what you want and then just sticking to it. That's it. The, the problem is guys get swayed by, um, you know, women. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we have friends who we haven't seen in years because they got married. You feel know what I'm saying? And and so, and, and their wife won't let them come out and play. You feel know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, so the thing is, you know, being consistent with you being that masculine guy is about standing on your square and being how you want to be no matter what. Even at even at the, the 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 you know even even if that means that the girl you're with is gonna leave you or you gotta charge it to the game or you gotta kick it to the curb, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? You just you basically have to uh, stay on that period, and that's it. You understand? No exceptions. Right. And the only time you change is when you want to change. So your purpose or your direction may change, but it should be a change that comes from you, not right. you're changing because of the girl. You feel what I'm saying? See, a, a, a way to stay consistent in your in your manhood is realizing that you don't need anything. Right. Real you talk. understand? Once you right. once you realize that 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 you're you are all you need, then nobody can control you. Right. A woman cannot control you with pussy. Uh, another person can't control you with money. Nobody can control you. Mm-hmm. You understand? Therefore, you're free to be exactly who you are. All right. Hello? Uh, oh, he's still there. Okay, I thought you, I thought you yeah. were going. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's the, what's the next question? Yeah. Uh, well, this is a little embarrassing, but I wasn't raised around my father. Okay. So. I was raised around a bunch of women, so therefore don't I don't feel bad. That's now. most that's most that's most niggas today. Don't feel bad. That's 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 really why we yeah. do what we do. So so my issue is I recognize a lot of times from watching my, my mom and my aunts and stuff like that, the thinking process that they had, unfortunately I acquired it. So what I mean by that to cut it short, because I know you got a lot, a lot of other callers would be, I would call it the Cinderella story. Mm. In other words, instead of me being the man that I need to be to get out there and do it, to be the rescuer of things, I would sometimes, in dealing with women, I'm waiting for them. Mm. So how can I erase that? So you're saying that you would you would wait? What do you mean by waiting for them? Well, I guess it would be what y'all call the choosing signals or mm-hmm. the woman to make the move for oh, this or the right. woman to make the move for that, and oh. I'll just sit there and I'd wait for it. Mm. What, what, no. Instead of... It's, instead instead of, of what? Stepping up, it's, instead of stepping up and, and handling like a man for, per se, a chick maybe that I wanted, I would, well, maybe if I wait, maybe she'll say something or maybe she'll make the move or whatever right. <laughs> and most of the times I ended up losing out anyway listen <laughs> listen I'm, I'm I'm hearing something I'm hearing something with you um that that lets me yeah. know something right before before you're before you before you uh worry about being a man right you you have to you have to uh figure out who you are mm. you understand because I keep hearing you say handle this like a man and such and such like a man but that's right. Right. Like it's for some reason when I hear you say it, it sounds it sounds empty. It sounds hollow. Mm. So what I, what I'm realizing about you is that you have to figure out who you are and what you want first. Mm. You understand? And then mm. the manhood comes in because of that. Because right because of that, the manhood is like the thing that that supports that as you go along. Because the thing here's the thing with being a man: a man does what needs to be done regardless of how he feels. Mm. Right? A man does what needs to be done because it needs to be done. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Right. So once you yeah. once you take a look at who you are as a person and you realize what you want, that's when you can start to put the manhood around that and then go for what you want. So therefore, you don't have to wait for a woman to do something to give you no choosing signals. You don't have to wait for the perfect opportunity for you to go get what you want. You don't have to fucking worry about what people think mm-hmm. because you already have accepted who you are and then you're going ahead to go get it because that's what a man does. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you have to first 
figure out what it is you want based on who you are. You understand? Yes, sir. That's what it is. And and also, too, understand when it comes to w- waiting for women, that's, that's, you can't, you, you, you just can't. Because you have to understand that women, it, look, it's like women are, are all over the place. They're fickle. They're flaky. They're flighty. They're, 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 they move based off of how they feel in the moment. It's not, and it's not necessarily about, uh, like I would say this, women don't uh, consult or care about reality. You understand what I'm saying? They just care about how they feel in any moment. See, us men, we have to deal with reality. You understand? We have to deal with, like, I, I you know, I was, I had this discussion with this, with this uh, girl one time, and she was, she asked me, she said. Do you think it's more difficult to be a, a man or a woman? And I said, and I said, why? And I, and, and I, no, I said, it's more difficult to be a man. And so she said, why? And she started naming all of this stuff that is difficult for women. And I said, yo, I agree. All of those stuff are, are difficult for women. But guess what? The reason why it's difficult, more difficult for a man is because he has to manage all that shit that's difficult for you. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So that's, so, so not only are you going through it, and you're feeling those feelings, I have to go through it with you, manage you, then also manage my own feelings. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And then make sure both of us are are right. You see what I'm saying? So so the thing is, you can't wait on no chick for nothing because they're waiting on you for it. You feel what I'm saying? That's like, that's like you know, uh, you saying, hey, well, I'm, I'm waiting on my, my, you know, five-year-old son to, to get in the car and drive us to McDonald's. It ain't gonna happen. You feel what I'm saying? He's waiting on you to drive him to McDonald's. You see what I mean? And so that that's the thing when it comes to to you dealing with, with women in, in this game. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it is, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I'd yeah. like to thank you, gentlemen. That's what's up, man. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, man. Appreciate the call, my dude. All right? Peace. All right, man. Be Have safe. Have a good weekend, thank man. You guys. All right, peace. You too. Peace. Ooh, cool. All right. All right, let me see. Hold on. This thing is always acting goofy. All right. Cool. So, guys, a call-in number. Let me put that on the screen again. Boom. Call-in number 281-673-6215. So, you guys can call in. Why is this shit acting funny like that sometimes? It should be acting funny style. But anyway, man. What are you talking about? Somebody else is calling. Hold on. Let me get this. Call from Eli. All right. Eli, what up, bro? What's going on? How you doing, Mr. Lucario Miles? Chilling, What's on, chilling. Bro? What's good with you? Uh, all over the place, bro. That's what's up. I don't know up. if you uh, I- Remember the phone call we had early in the year? But that that uh, uh, situation is almost wrapped up in a, into a tight bow. And what, what was that? What was that uh, situation? I don't know if you remember. What that was that situation? That, uh, long-term relationship that was going sideways. With uh, I told you with with the girls almost as long as I, you've been with your wife. Mm-hmm. And what's and what's going on with that now? I mean, if you don't remember, it's a, it's a, it's it's done deal. It's a wrap. Okay. It's okay. Right. So what? So what else? But, what else is new what with I, you? Though? I, I learned. What's that? I said. I said. What else is new with you, though? Yeah. Well, moving forward, I was. I, what I wanted to say was one of the two things I wanted to ask you guys mm. that I learned from it was about um, how everyone has like their own like attachment types and stuff like that. Right. You know, built into us from from you know, I guess when we were younger with our parents and stuff like that. Mm. And I was always I was wondering since I learned about it was like, do you ever think about that when it comes to how you're either dealing with women or dealing with uh, some of the coaching that you do with some of the guys and, and helping them overcome mm. um, the difficulties in the game? Mm. Well, yeah, that's a good question because like, well, the thing is, you know, the you know the way that people are you know, come at the game and people have different, like, styles of how they show affection and how they're, you know, attached in certain situations. You know, some people may like to, you know, be around a person a lot. Some people may need more space than others, whatever it is. 
But um, but the thing is, as far as it, it goes for men and when they're dealing with women, and this is what we're saying for the last caller and, and some of the other callers, is that as a man, you have to first just figure out what you're trying to do that's the most important and then make everything else fit mm-hmm. into that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but but also what happens is is that you're going to have women who are going to get attached, and even some guys are going to get attached, but as far as the women getting attached, some guys mm-hmm. end up switching up their plans, their purpose, the things they're trying to do for the girl because they want her, they want they, they like her, they think she's hot, they want to have sex, whatever it is. And so, therefore, mm-hmm. they end up switching up how they want to be just to get with her, which which I don't, you know... I don't think it's a good thing. You see what I'm saying? And so when I'm and when I'm coaching guys, yeah. I try to I, I, I get them to really figure out what they want specifically, not about what they think they want from you know or, or as far as like what they think they should do from society, not what you know um, they think other people want for them, but what do they actually want so that we can get to the root of what they want and actually get them exactly what they want. You see what I mean? And that's that's basically the basis of the game when it comes to you interacting with women and just in life in general is like, what do you actually want to happen? And then make that happen. And mm-hmm. that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and I follow you completely with everything you're saying, but I guess, but, but what I've learned about it is because of the fact that some, these things that, that we emulate in the, in the relationships or in the trying to have maybe a relationship, or just jump off, whatever the heck, you know, a guy want with a girl. Like some of the stuff is built in subconsciously, where mm-hmm. we're acting upon stuff that we don't even sometimes realize ourselves is why do we do these things that we do? Mm-hmm. And, and, and right, and with, that's with, and this is why, women. right? And and, and 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 I get you. And this is why it's important for guys to get coaching. This is why it's important for guys to study the game because there's a lot of things okay. that are happening on a subconscious level where they where you almost have to reprogram your mind. Like the first chapter. In my book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, is about reprogramming your mind. Because the thing is, is that if, yeah, you, if right. you have a certain mindset, that's going to, you know, if you have a, a mindset of negativity, of scarcity, of lack, whatever, of you feeling uh, insecure, all this other stuff, that's going to affect how you come at the game. So it doesn't matter what techniques or anybody tells you, you ain't going to be able to make anything happen if your mindset is, you know, all fucked up. You see what I mean? And so. So this is why it's you, you have to basically reprogram the person's mind to see and, 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 and understand things in a certain way. This is why when I talk about confidence, a lot of people on the internet, um, unfortunately, they don't understand what confidence is and they don't understand about confidence. So they need to be reprogrammed <coughs> to understand what it is and what it actually entails and what it's about. Because you got people on the internet talking about confidence is bullshit or confidence comes from the outside or some goofy ass shit like that. And so therefore they never uh-huh. really understand what it is and how to make it make shit happen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, it's funny. I, this wasn't my second question, but now that you mentioned the confidence, I wanted mm-hmm. to ask you, like, I know for myself, mm-hmm. when I think about that and like how you had, the, you had a different a few videos about talking about the core confidence and how, you know, you have mm. to make sure you have it before, after, and during, or mm. during and after right. when dealing with the woman. Mm. And um, when, I, I think to some degree for myself, because I'm, I'm, I'm probably older than a lot of the guys that you deal with, um, it's like you've seen some of the same stuff mm. over year and year time. Mm. And, and, I, and I can honestly admit, you know, I, I came into learning what you learned late in life, later mm. in my, my years and things like that. Mm. But, I, but I'm glad that I did because it definitely has helped me and saved me. But um, because some of the things that I still may experience are not anything really completely new to me, mm. it's just that I'm learning it because now that I'm, a, I'm, I'm realizing how the game works a little bit more and how it's important for men to know how the game works to... Mm better themselves, protect themselves, to make sure that they don't get played this way, whatever way. Mm. But then because there's nothing really overly new that I think I'm experiencing, mm. except for dealing with a new person because now that's what that's the position I'm in right now, um, it, it's not, I don't sense a whole lot of confidence in like, oh yeah, I already know this or I know that. Like mm. I, It's like I just know it for knowing sake, mm. but it's not like, I'm just like overly like super confident because of the fact that I know this better now, mm. and now when I move forward, I'm going to be in a better position than I was even in my last relationship. 
Right. Well, sense. see, the thing is, the thing is this: is that there's there's a difference between being confident about something and mm-hmm. actually being confident. Period. You see what I'm saying? Or having confidence. So, like, I can say I'm confident that I know how to turn on my computer. Uh, and, and start a live stream on YouTube. Like, because I've done it a bunch of times. So I'm confident in the fact that I know how to do that. You see what I'm saying? Then you have, yeah. so it's not, so yeah. that's the knowing part of it. So um, it's not just about knowing something. You see what I mean? And, and, and that, that could be, you know, you building your confidence about something or whatever. But overall, when we talk about confidence, and, and, this, and, and, and the thing is this, it's actually difficult to explain because confidence is something you have to feel. You understand? And you have to know. And you, oh, I agree. I right. agree. That's that's the part of why I said what I just said. <laughs> right. Because it's like you don't feel it. Like right. But, to, but see, that's what I'm uh, saying. Compared to maybe. But that's what I'm saying. The reason why, and the, this is the thing, the reason why most guys don't feel it is because they have to drop shit. They have to drop a lot of things. This is the problem. People try to add on. You mean like the old bad habits and things like that? Right. Well, this is the thing. Because like you said, you said, hey, I know all these things, but I still don't feel confident or I don't feel confident you don't need to know any of those things to feel confident in fact and it, see I, I, I don't want to get too deep but let me get let me get a little bit deeper the thing is this you need to be able to well, hey, I'm on I'm on the bad boy show I'm on the game right. I got the never says I'm on all of it right so this is the thing in order for <laughs> in order for you to to feel that confidence you have to drop shit right it's like this let's say let's say um you know, but and this is the thing: most people add on to try to, to to try to get confident. So they say, "Well, if I get a car, I'll be confident. If I look better, I'll be confident. If I get more girls, I'm going to be a confident person." Right now, those things okay, can make you yep. they can make you feel good. You understand in that sense, and you can have a boost of confidence for that day. Maybe you feel what I'm saying. But what happens is mm-hmm. is that when you do that, it's almost like a drug. You get the high. Of that, those feelings, that excitement, and then you come back down once, let's say, your car gets fucked up or something, or that girl leaves you, or you don't have as much money as you have. Now you're depressed. Now you're insecure, blah, 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 right? So what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. is that yep. in order for you to actually really understand confidence, it's not about adding those things on. It's about dropping shit, meaning dropping the belief that you need the car. Dropping the belief that you need the money. Dropping the belief that you need the girls and all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? And then once you drop that belief Mm. and you start to actually see who the fuck you are, that's when you actually understand confidence. You understand? Because what you're you're understanding is it's the knowing of who you are. Not the knowing of things, but the knowing of who you are. You see what I'm saying? And and the knowing of what you're about. Not the knowing of, of the situations that I find myself in. Just knowing who I am in the situation. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And so it's like this. It's like it's like like let's say if you if you if you uh you know if you have like a um a toothache, right? Mm-hmm. If you're ha- if you have a toothache, right? And let's say you're 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 brushing your teeth and you're like shit, I gotta keep brushing this to get this toothache away. You see what I'm saying? You keep brushing and brushing and brushing, and then the toothache doesn't go away. You're like, what the fuck? But the thing is, you might need a root canal. You need you need to get to the root of the situation in order for you to actually feel better, right? So what happens is you need to uh, drop that feeling, that sickness. That sickness needs to be dropped so that your teeth or your tooth can feel how it normally feels. See, the thing about confidence is it's not anything you need to put on or you need to have more of or you need to try to get more. It's... It should be there, period. Just like how any of you guys watching right now, if you don't have a toothache, you're probably not even thinking about your teeth. It's just there. You're not even thinking. You you probably forgot you got teeth right now. You're not even thinking about it until I talked about it. But once you have a toothache, you keep constantly... Or something stuck in between them or something like that. Right, exactly. If you have some food and it's stuck in your teeth, that's when you start noticing or being conscious of the fact you have teeth. When you don't, when you, when, when everything is just how it's supposed to be, you don't even think about it. You don't worry about it, but you understand it's there. You see what I'm saying? And confidence is the same way. It's not about you. It's not about it being this super extravagant. You walking on cloud nine every five seconds. It's about just knowing. You understand? It's about that knowing. And the thing is, you have to drop the sickness. You have to drop the bullshit, and then you'll actually 
feel what it is to actually have core confidence. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing. The most important thing is the core confidence. You can build your confidence by knowing mm -hmm. things and being competent about things. That's cool too. But what you want is the core. The core is the thing that can never be shaken. Because the guy I was talking earlier about, you know, what if your confidence is shaken? The core can't be shaken. And, it, and you, have to, you have to know and feel that core so heavy that anything that would, quote, unquote, you would think that would try to shake it or that could shake it or somebody would think that could shake it, could it happen? It can occur. It's, it's literally... Cause, cause what happens is you want to be, you want to understand that core confidence to the, to the point where it sounds ridiculous to, to even think something can shake it. It's almost like to the point where it's like someone telling me I'm white as black as I am. <laughs> Somebody saying, Miss Locario, you're white. And then me second guessing my blackness. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. I would never second guess my blackness. Mm -hmm. Why? Cause I know how fucking black I am. You see what I mean? Like, there's mm -hmm. nothing in the world mm -hmm. that, that's like, so. well, what if somebody says something to, to shake up the belief that you're black? Bruh, you can't. Nigga, look at me. You feel what I'm saying? Is that's, and that's my point. That's what I'm yeah. saying about confidence. If you're really confident, none of that shit can shake your shit up. You see what I'm saying? All right. And and, 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 if, and let me and go. If you are letting, and if you are letting things shake you up, then that means that's more work you got to do on yourself. Right. And let me And let me get even deeper. Let me get even deeper with this shit. Let me get even deeper. So I, the, the, this 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 is the shit that uh, you know that that people don't understand. Do you understand? Do you realize that you can be confident and you can be a confident person even when you're depressed, even when you're angry, even when there are times when you're feeling a little bit insecure. But see, that's a whole nother. I don't even know if I want to get into that too much right now. But I'll, I'll probably do, I could, I'll do a whole video on that later. You see what I'm saying? Because people that think... That might have to be a bad boy program. Right, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. See, there we go. That's that's going to be a bad boy membership program so that you guys can really get into that because <laughs> people think that when you talk about confidence or even happiness, that that means that every five seconds you got to feel like, you know, a certain way. No, it's it's not about that. It's about, it's more about a core, a core belief and a core and knowing a certain thing and that's what gets you that energy. You feel what I'm saying? But, but yeah, I'm going to definitely, definitely do some shit like that. You feel me? Yeah man. Okay. Yeah man. But yo, I'm, 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 right, I appreciate you. the call, I can't, my remember, dude. I can't remember my second question, but you gave me so much, I better just let it go. Thank That's you. Awesome. Have a good weekend, bro. All right, man. Wilder. Peace. You too, Miles. Good to see you guys. Yes, Peace. sir. Thanks. All right. Yeah man. It's yo. This this game is deep. They don't. I'll I'm, I'm, I'm be trying to tell you, cats. This shit is like. This shit is deep. The locker room said you will not be confident if you haven't had success in what you're trying to accomplish. No. Who wrote that? The locker room. The locker room? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Dudes don't understand this shit, but they wow. will soon. Yo, what's awesome. going on? Brandon. All right, hold on. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Fuck, why this shit be doing To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Okay. I've sent the caller voicemail. Oh! All right, you got to call back because this shit is acting funny. My bad, Brandon. This shit's acting, acting crazy. Hey, locker room. What came first, the egg or the, or the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. Um, he said, how do you explain? Wait, somebody, he's trying to call back. You rarely shit. see good-looking guys looking for dating coaches. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Hold on. Let me try to cut out of this again. Hold on. This thing is frozen a little bit. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. All right. All right, Brandon, call back. Call back. Call back. They talking a bunch of shit in the chat room right now, though. <laughs> you said we really see actual good-looking guys uh, looking for dating coaches? Oh, so... You be standing in front of the dating coach store, watching all the guys walk in. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. The fuck is so, wrong with so, you, so you trying to tell me you be hanging out with dating coaches when they when they coaching their clients? And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, how do they get this information? That's what I don't get. They're like, you don't see the, the dating coaches doing this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Call from 
from? Brandon. All right. What's poppin'? What's going on? What's up? It's Brandon. What's going on, bro? What's the deal? Bro, someone at school tried to cock block me today. Word? <laughs> were they on the bad... Wait, were you on the bad boy membership? No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> and so what, so what, what happened? Why, what, what was going on? So a couple weeks ago, I tried to holler at his girlfriend even though I didn't know the girl at first and I um, approached her and told her I thought she was cute and everything mm -hmm. and uh, she said oh you know I had a boyfriend and I was like well you wouldn't mind if I just you know he wouldn't mind if I just you know took you to the bathroom and we got it in and um, apparently she told him about it and uh, he got all offended so today I tried to holler at a different chick and he just ran up and said, like, oh, this kid, tried, you don't want to get with him. He tried to say he wanted to fuck my girlfriend or something like that. And so, like, I didn't know what to do. And I, I was kind of like, should I check this guy next time I see him? Because I feel like if I try to talk to other girls, I'll try to do it again. No, no, no. This is what you do. When you see that dude, shake his hand and be like, bro, this is what I need you to do. I need you to tell all the girls in the school that I'm trying to fuck all the girls in the school, including your girlfriend. Including, including your girlfriend. Okay. If 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 you need if you need to give this nigga five dollars to do it, pay him to to be your spokesperson, <laughs> because that's gonna get you mad pussy. Let let him be your number one fan, or you're right, you, like Lucario said, your spokesperson. Flip the game. Let it work for you. Because look, women don't get turned off by hearing about a guy trying to fuck other women. You know what happens when women hear about a guy trying to fuck other women? They want to fuck him. You understand that? I understand. That's how it works. That's how women operate. Women are followers. The only thing, the only thing you have to do is not, not let on, not show that you're like feeling upset weird about that or bothered or ashamed of. Anything this guy has to say, you understand right. what I'm saying? Right. Because while you was there and you right. were trying to talk to the girl. And he's like, "Yo, this guy. What did he say? To, what did he say to the chick?" Apparently, he knew her because mm -hmm. um, his girlfriend's like Muslim, and like that was one of, one of her Muslim friends I was trying to holler at. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just like walked by and said, "Oh, he he told my girlfriend uh, he wanted to fuck her, even though I, he she told him already I got a um, boyfriend." Mm -hmm. And so the girl just didn't want to give me her number anymore or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, and, and, he, so, and, he, um, and this is what you do. You'd be like, yeah, he's right. And listen, I'm trying to fuck with you too. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my number and you holler at me when you're ready to fuck me. And then you just keep that shit pushing. Right. That's it. I see. Yeah. I didn't close the deal in that respect. Right. Like, and, don't, and that's fine. Right. That's and fine. You, ain't, you ain't got to, you ain't got to worry about, she said she, go ahead. Said she had a, she uh, was seeing someone right now, but um, she thinks I'm cute and wants to get with me. So as soon as I was gonna put my number in her phone, that's when the dude walked up. Mm -hmm. Right, and then if that's the case, then you keep that shit pushing, or you say, "Lord, listen, you know, listen, I know that you want to fuck with me, and you just don't want to do this in front of them. So this right. is what I'm gonna do. I'll catch up, I'll, with, I'll you catch up with you later. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. Right. That's it. Next time. That's all you gotta do, bro. Don't let don't let these people kick you off your square, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you just got to do your shit. I feel you. All right? All righty. All right, man. Appreciate the call, Get on bro. that bad boy membership, though. Exactly. Make that shit happen. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let me see if I can turn this shit on. Trying to fuck bitches right. in the bathroom. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate the call, man. All right. Somebody said they're calling now. Hold on. Why does shit always fucking gotta be on some bullshit? The internet is All right, give me a second, guys. Internet. The internet's going kind of crazy right now. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me try to get this uh this shit working right. All right, give me a second. 
So I want to get these calls in. We're going to take maybe one or two more calls and then we out of here. Man. All right, give me a second, guys. All right. <clears throat> Why is this, this shit is goofy right now? Everything's goofy. Now that this shit's starting to act like Skype. But anyway. All right, so we're trying to, we try to get some more of these calls in, but this, this shit is acting kind of crazy right now. You got to give us a second to uh, to get this shit going. Let me try. Yeah, try to... Live Fabulous, we know the stream is lagging, bro. We said this at the beginning of the show. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? As long as about? the audio is good. As long as the audio is good. You, you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. I see I see a 949 number coming up, but this shit is, is, is going super slow. Impossible, impossible, Monique. You trying to call in? You're at the 949 number. All right, hold on. Give us a second. Hold on, hold on. The fuck? It's all, it's, it's frozen. It's all frozen. Damn, this shit freezing like a motherfucker. Hold on, let me, let me try to. Let me try to get this shit back up. Hold on. Let me try to do this again. Give us a second. Bear with us. Bear with us. Hold on. Hold on. I want to try to get Impossible Monique on the line in a second. Okay. Allow. All right. All right. So... Try to call up again. We're going to see if we can get this shit popping. Or I might just have to do it on my, um, see if I can do it on my phone. Hold on, let me see something. Oh, we got it. Hold on. Yo. Yo. Hey, what's good? What's going on? Who's this? This is Monique. Monique, what's going on? What's up, bad boy? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. What's good with you? Monique sound cute. Okay, but first of all, I'm not a member. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, Monique? I don't, I don't got an extra leg, so y'all need to quit with that. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah, would you Would you like, like an extra leg? <laughs> I got a man who has it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. All right, you're lucky. Uh, you know what, no, but I like watching you guys. Usually I just listen. I don't comment. Mm. Just I, I appreciate that. Where are you from? I'm from, um, well, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I'm from, but oh, Southern California. Okay. Southern California, okay. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Right. And how, how old are you? Right now, I'm 33. 33, okay. Uh, and how do you look? How do you look? Uh, how do I look? Yeah. Why do you have to how I look? Because that's, 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 that's very important to men. We want to... We want to have we want to have like a visual as we're talking to you. Yeah, we're very visual creatures. Oh, uh, okay. Well, my profile picture's right there. I mean, we could that's that's super small though. Are you black, white, Asian? What are, what are you? Um, I'm Italian and Mexican. Nice. Oh shit. Okay. How tall are you? Huh? How tall are you? I'm about five seven. Right. Okay. Okay. And what's your what's your Instagram? What's your Instagram page? We about to get you a lot of followers. Oh no, no, no! I don't need no trouble. Come on, <laughs> we trying to we trying to help you out. We want to see what's the Instagram page. Sorry, because I already told my man that I was I was following you guys, and he was already getting a little. He felt a certain way. So why you felt a certain way? Put it. Guys. It's put him on the phone. He's there with you. No, he's not at work. Oh. Back to work too, but, Yo, uh, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Are you satisfied with the plan that your man has for you and for you and him? That's the thing, though. It's just every woman has to, you know, find happiness for themselves. So I mean, you know, plans could always change. You never know. So I don't. Well, first, all right. First question. First question. Then does does he does your man have a plan? Yeah, he has a plan. All right.
right. At least he has a plan. And is is he working that plan? He is, but I've been trying to help him make more moves. Okay, that's well, that, that's, what, that's what you're supposed to be doing. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's what we're talking yeah, about. And so let me are, are, have you have you um have you ever thought that your boyfriend was cheating on you? Um, uh, not really, to be honest. Not. Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> No, we're talking about we're talking about actually having. We're sex. talking about real cheating. We're talking about him meeting some girl and and fucking. Do you, do you do you think he has done that? She's saying y'all pussy. She's saying y'all mad pussy. That's fucked up. She getting on y'all, man. <laughs> she saying... So are you saying are you saying that a chick will will give a guy signals that she's into him but she won't necessarily go up cuz she waiting for him to go and approach, right? Exactly. I, that's what I be trying to tell these guys. That's what we've been trying to tell these guys cuz they they a lot of guys they always say they want to wait for a girl to check them out, and they some guys even want the girl to do, you know, to run up on them and do all the work, and and I'm like, that's not that's not feminine. You understand? Right. It's masculine for us to go and approach you and say what's good. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you're all supposed to be the hunters, all right? Exactly, exactly. No, I feel. See you. Hunters. See see. There's a reason why 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 you wifey. You understand? Because you know what it is, and she helping she helping her, her do it out. See now if she, see if you if you came on here. And you was like, you know, acting like you ain't really like your man that much, or you was kind of playing him or just using him for whatever, you know, Miles would have took you away from him. You feel ah. what I'm saying? But since since y'all have a good relationship, we respect that. You feel what I'm saying? We do. Yeah. <laughs> we do. You feel me? Man, but listen, yeah. you need to tell some of you, wait, what, we, we got to get your Instagram page, though. What's your Instagram? What's that? <laughs> See, she... <laughs> Now she's like, excuse me, my she's like my phone's dying. What's your, what's your Instagram page? Oh, it's the same thing, but I don't. Again. Maybe what is it? It's it, impo impossible Monique. Impossible Monique. That's it's impossible Monique. Just one word. Okay, we about to uh, Miles about to look you up right now. Hold on. We... 
Now we, we do it on every Friday from three uh-huh. thirty to five thirty. But we also do in, we also do them sometimes Mondays and Wednesdays. Is it underscore Monique? Is it underscore Monique? I know Dr. Cuddles is a funny dude. You found her? Yeah. No. Is Wait. It, is it impossible underscore Monique or what? Monique, Monique, Monique. Is it? Is it? Is your Instagram page impossible underscore Monique? Yeah. M O N I Q U E. Oh, that's on the top one right here. It's impossible Monique right here. Pan- Pantoja. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you, you a fine motherfucker. Yo, yo, she look good, yo. Yo, you a fine motherfucker. My name's Miles Glass, thank you, and I'm from Cali. Yeah. <laughs> I, right, Ma- Miles just uh, friended you, so you know, or, or follow you, so follow him back. But that's, yo, uh, we 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 appreciate we appreciate you calling, man, because you know it's, it's sometimes it's good to hear, you know, a a, a good Wait, chick. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many how many kids you got? I have one child. You have one child. How how old? All right, listen. I'm a I'm a nigga that stay with a plan. So if it's getting if it's getting too uh too challenging over there, holla at your boy, okay? See, so hold on, wait. In the chat room, they saying she catfishing because uh, Locario's bastard child said it's a fake. It's fake. They said she has only z- one zero posts. She has zero. Oh, you're right. I don't, no, it's not fake. I put that on my life and my daughter's life, but I don't post on there. I just follow the people that I follow and follow my Oh, okay, I got you. Cause yeah, my 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 wife does the same thing. She don't post shit, so who knows? My wife does the same like, thing. Yeah, my whole thing is I I do like to keep private and all that, and I'm not really into like all this like posting on Well, just make sure, just make sure that you know you you treating your man good. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, I, see him. I think I see him though. I see you, Miles. Okay, Hello. see so. Okay. Right. So so just make sure make sure you're treating your man good, and um you know if if in the event y'all break up, um Miles Miles is gonna holler at you. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. Miles already got plans. I already see it. <laughs> so we just let you know, all right? Good work, and just to the fellas out there, for real, they're really um, speaking some truth. They do have some good. You guys do. I've been following you guys for a while. I just don't say anything. And you guys just, you know, crack me up and all that. But there is a lot of truth because, you know, I've been married a long time ago. And before that, I was dating. You know, I've been through all the tender. I went through all that. So I know what he's talking about. And, That's what's up. You know, it's just pretty on point. That's what's up. I appreciate appreciate you, all right? I'm going to put your bad boy membership, y'all. Exactly. All right, I'm going to holler at you. Right. See that? You see? see? Now, now she's helping us. That's exactly. a good woman right exactly. there. Exactly. You see, that's, how, that's the type of woman you want. A chick that's going to help you out, man. A chick that's going to... You know, you know it's, it's ironic that um, Locario's bastard child, that's his screen name, <laughs> is the one talking about catfishing, and he got my... He's using, he's using my name in his screen, his screen name. That's hilarious. That's funny. Man, it was almost that time. It's almost that time, people. It is almost that time. Take one more. You can take one more caller. Yeah, one. Take one more caller. Last call. Let's see. I hope this is relevant. Mm-hmm. Call from. I'm in. All right. To accept, press. What's popping, bro? Yo. Hey, what's going on, Vicario? What's popping? What's good? What's going on, Miles? What's going on, man? Uh, How you doing? I got a question for. Got a question for you. Guys. I got a question for you. All right. <laughs> Are you on the bad boy membership, yeah, sir? Yeah, all right, all right. I ain't gonna lie to you, no, I'm not. I ain't we gotta, gonna we gotta change that, yeah, man. Yeah, what's it, up with come, like? What's up with y'all, man? What's up with y'all? I mean, y'all calling? Y'all getting free advice? <laughs> and y'all want to support the movement, man? Come on, man. I mean, go, go ahead, no, go no, ahead, go no, ahead. No, 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 no. But here's the thing: I bought how they have sex with two women a day. All right, so, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, cool. That's what's good. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm that's I'm something. I'm that's I'm good. I support y'all. Go, all right, go ahead with the with the question, though. Alright, hold on. I hope y'all can hear me because there's trains that are going crazy over here. So, like, I got a dilemma, right? Hope y'all can hear me. Yeah. No, you good. I got a girlfriend or whatever. And, you know, she's a good girl. Me and I have a good relationship and all. But, 
like, you know, like, that's the I feel like we were, it's like fading away. But the thing is, I, you know, I don't want to be the bad guy to like, you know, end the relationship because, you know, she supported me and, you know, a lot of the shit that I'm doing right now. Mm. So, like, I don't want to feel like that bad guy for breaking up with her because that sexual attraction is, like, gone. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And why, why, what, what happened with the so, sexual track? What she got? She got? She? What did she do? What is? What's going on with her now? Why like, you want to break up with her? Is it's it a, like is it a sexual attraction. Like, I'm not even back to her. Like, like now, like I used to be, but like you know, her nope. body is like she just let herself kind of go, and you know, her body wasn't like it used to be. Mm-hmm. And why? You know, and, it's like that. And why? Mm-hmm. Why is? Why do you think that is? Why do you think that? She let herself go. And I, the answer is she just over eating. She got a work schedule mm. that's crazy. She eats fast food mm. every single day. And did you did you bring and this like, up to her? Like, did you bring this up to her? Yeah, I talked to her about. Yeah, oh. I, yeah, I talked talk to her about it, and you know, she feel like you know, somebody she's gonna do it. You know, she's gonna lose some weight and all that stuff. But you know, that was like last month. And you still haven't, you know, got the gym membership or anything. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, what the hell are you doing? No diet? No, no, I'm trying to motivate her to, like, yeah, I want you to, you know, have the sex to check the body so, you know, we can keep the relationship, you know, sport going on. How old is she? What? 23. 23? Yeah, you run, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 23. <laughs> My God, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's. That's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Because the thing, the thing I can say is this: is that you, you seem like you're trying to get her to, you know, do it. Uh, you know, I would suggest you. What you could do is um, try to take more of the lead in the situation to get right. her to do it. Meaning, say, yo, we gonna both get a gym membership. Yeah, work out with her. We're gonna we're gonna work out together. We're gonna go. We're gonna cook, we're gonna cook meals together. We're gonna eat certain things together. You understand? Do it with her, so she does. You know? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what you gotta do. Cause are you are you in the gym? Yeah, man. I'm I'm working out, man. I'm getting slow, man. I'm trying to get ready for the summer, you know. That's what I'm saying. You gotta bring her with you. you gotta bring her with you. And yeah, then if yeah. she if she refuses to come with you, right. then that's when you charge her to the game. Right. That's exactly. what, then you tell her, listen, you know, because this is what you want to do. You could give her a fair chance. Be like, look, you know, let her know. Be like, hey, I want I want you to, um, you know. <clears throat> be in shape and you know this is I'm, I'm physically attracted to you when you are in shape but if this continues mm-hmm. then we're gonna have to call it a day like let her know what it is you feel what I'm saying mm-hmm. so you got it cause like yeah, even, even you know my, my wife my wife she stay in the gym I already told her I said listen if you if you get overweight we're done you feel what I'm saying like it's mm-hmm. over so so she knows you yeah, feel what I'm I saying I that too I'm like yo if you get to that point like Oh, be crazy as hell, then be with your ass. Right. So you know. So that's what I'm saying. So you just gotta you just gotta try to help her by by um you know, going with her, helping her with the situation. Mm-hmm. And if she refuses, if she keeps mm-hmm. just being on some well I ain't trying to do it, then yeah, keep that shit pushing, bro. That's it. Alright. Cause at that point you've done so everything you life, can bro. do. You right. feel what I'm saying? Right. I appreciate it, appreciate it. All right, bro. Yo, thank y'all for your advice. I'll- I'm gonna subscribe to the Bad Boy membership. Yeah, yes, sir. yeah, you, yeah. Please subscribe to the Bad Boy membership because more than likely that fat bitch is not gonna listen, and you're gonna be single again, and you're gonna need more game. You feel me? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All, right. All right, bro. All right, bro. Thank All right, you. Bro. Yo, holla. Peace. All right, man. That's funny. All right, people, listen. Shout these niggas out. It's about that time. It is about that time. <laughs> But what he said. Black women are religious to fitness. <laughs> he said that's fucked up. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. Why y'all do that for? Man. But yo, we appreciate y'all rocking out with us, even though we had the the, the, the janky internet today. Yeah, man. Um, you know, it's, it's, we're in all these different locations, it's, so man. it so, is what it is. Right. But yeah. Thanks for rocking out with us, man, for mm-hmm. real. Um, let me shout out to the people in the chat room. Shout out to Costas, Lucifer, Hitman. The jig is up. Impossible Monique, appreciate you calling in. Sexy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else? Nathan Wong. Uh, who else is up in here? Jeffrey Early. Uh, Leonardo. 
Who else? Last chocolate chip, G Toast, um, Got Juice, DJ Shaddy Perp, Smith Reeves. Who else? Lucario's bastard child. <laughs> That'd be fucked if I actually did have a bastard child. So was, <laughs> like, God damn. Uh, Frank Lopez, uh, Nick B, Troll Patrol, Leonardo, man. All that shit. We got a lot of people up in here, man. Remember, guys, uh, get hey, the book. Aki. How to have sex with two women a day. Make sure you guys get this shirt. Men are not equal to women. Get this shirt. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and we will see you guys next week. And we will holla at y'all later. And uh, have a good weekend. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. Peace. Be gone.